this rabbit has their own <laughs> closet. Like they have a wardrobe. This is so stunning. You guys, Lennon lives like a peasant, like compared to these rabbits, seriously. <laughs> Hey Lennies and bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm very excited to bring to you reacting to your rabbit habitats. You guys love this, you eat it up like candy, I owe it to you. Now I have to say I almost shed a tear guys looking through these submissions because like 95% of them were free roamers. Compared to like the very first video I ever made of these, it's just like night and day. The submissions that I'm getting now and it just makes me feel like it's really been worth it that the message is resonating it just each of these videos keeps getting better and better and better so you know if the majority of these happen to be free roamers that is the reason why I'm not specifically looking for that I did welcome all kinds of submissions but what I was looking for were very unique setups instead of doing the usual video of going off the checklist and, and making sure that the basics are there. I think I just, we're at a point now where it's more interesting for me to look at setups that can be more of an inspiration to you guys and the rest of us. I'm so sorry if I didn't get to yours, obviously. It would just be impossible to review everybody's. And um, yeah, let's just get to this. Uh, please subscribe, smash that like button and all that jazz for unlimited bunny content. You guys know the drill. Follow us on our other socials because when I put the ad up for this video, it was via Instagram. So if you do want to be part of our next video, go ahead and follow us on Instagram. Now a word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Ritual. So big thank you to them. Even with a perfect diet, it can be hard to get the key nutrients that you need on a daily daily basis. Ritual helps women fill the gaps in their diet. What I love about it, aside from the minty fresh scent when you open the bottle, are the two easy to swallow capsules and you get nine high quality nutrients, no fillers, colorants, shady additives. You know exactly what you're putting into your body. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. They're vegan friendly, gluten free, sugar free, non GMO and allergen free. I also love that Ritual is super eco friendly. All of their packaging, the bottles, they're all made from 100% recyclable materials. They even use plant based ink. They also offer a men's multivitamin, 50 plus prenatal, postnatal, and teen vitamins. And this is all delivered to your doorstep for just a dollar a day. You get nine high quality nutrients. And if you use our code in the description below, you get a 10% discount off your first three months, which I think is such a great deal. Everything will be linked. So please check out Ritual. So the first one here, hi Lenny, I'm so excited to be writing this. I have two bunny girls, Alyssa and Aylin. Oh my God, I love that your bunnies have human names. Alyssa, like I love when people do that. They are free roamers, but also have an exclusive room for them at our apartment. Oh my gosh. This is in Brasilia, Brazil. I've been there by the way, so really nice to see some international submissions. This is just stunning. Okay, first of all, I love the decor, I love the detail. You've got a little bunny lamp on the shelf. Uh, the color coordination is just excellent. Um, I love that the bunnies have Polaroids of themselves. It's, it's like they're teenage girls. I love the ramp, the castle, everything, the Heidi house, the tunnel. This is an A plus all around. It's, it's really just beautiful. I love that this is going on in Brazil right now, really. So thank you so much for your submission, Christina. Okay, Zayad. This was taken from before I refilled the hay, if you're wondering why it isn't there. I live in Sudan, and so rabbit supplies are very limited. I have a temporary litter box out of cardboard in the corner. I intend on buying an actual litter box. Okay, let's take a look. So. Wow, this is very, very interesting. I think you guys know what I'm gonna rate this, but you're wrong. And I'm gonna tell you why this setup here is an A. This here is a perfect example of 
someone making the best of their situation using very limited resources. And it just goes to show you that you don't need a lot of money, you don't need a lot of luxury or anything like that to give your bunny the life that they deserve. And that is basically what I've been trying to get to the entire time on this channel. This person even made their own litter box using a cardboard box. Really resourceful and also quite eco-friendly because that can easily be composted. They've made the Heidi house out of a cardboard box. They've got the food in the water bowls. This bunny has a rug that they can run on for traction. Uh, the reason this is not an A plus is because I do see a cord in the background and I think that really needs to be bunny proofed or protected if it already is not. This is my bunny Nutella. Oh my God, I love that your rabbit's name is Nutella because I love Nutella. He has a Holland Lop. 100% free roamed. Okay, this is so freaking cute. Like the bunny has a freaking hat hanging over their, you know, the foot of their bed. They've got such a great, oh my God. That Heidi house is amazing. And I love the, um, this cat scratcher as a, as a toy. I always suggest that. The litter box is set up perfectly this is an A plus. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like this person is just a, is trolling me. They've got they've got to be trolling me. So, firstly, the bunnies outside. We all know bunnies should not be living outside. They're so so vulnerable as prey animals. Um, they can easily escape, or something can easily break in. This bunny's also um, on a wire bottomed floor, which is pretty bad for bunny paws because bunny paws don't have any padding so that can easily cause sore hocks. The amount of pellets being given here as well are just excessive. This could easily cause obesity for sure if the bunny is just eating unlimited pellets every day. Uh, again, I'm not sure of the age of this rabbit. Um, if it is an adult rabbit, you've really got to cut down on that. And then this person also sent a photo of all of their rabbit's waist. Um, Hmm, not sure why. I, maybe you're trying to show me the hay. Um, clearly the bunny has a lot of hay. I just, I'm uncomfortable with it being outside. I hope this bunny is not living an isolated life out there. It's by itself. I, I just, I really would suggest bringing it indoors um, and at the very least giving it an exercise pen. So given all of this information, I would rate this a Hey Lorelai and Lennon, I hope you're both are well. We love you so much. My bunny is free roam. Okay, this is absolutely, I don't see anything wrong with this. The bunny is a freaking Christmas tree, like their own little glowy Christmas tree as part of their decoration. I think that's fantastic. They've got a blue LED light inside of their litter box slash Heidi house. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Got a bed, the, the cord is bunny proofed. I don't see anything else that's hazardous. Got a food and water bowl. It's great. It's really, really great. This is an A plus. I'm 13 and so my parents won't allow my bunny to free roam. She used to be in a small cage, but I convinced them to use this space. I know it's not ideal or pretty to look at, Aww. but I feel like it can work. I would love to take out the storage and expand it. Oh, This is a great example, guys, of not just working with what you've got, but also educating your parents, which she did. She convinced them to get the bunny out of the cage. I mean, man. Props to you, Gwyneth, for that. Seriously, that's very admirable. This is clearly 10 times better than being in a tiny little cage. And you know what? This bunny has everything that they need. Great food and water bowls, hay. Uh, they've got a place to hide. The one thing I do worry about is um, isolation because it is in an enclosed space like that where um, you're not, the bunny isn't really being seen very easily. I just hope that 
you monitor your bunny, check up on them multiple times a day um, because you know I'm sure it can be very easy to just put your rabbit in a closet and forget about it, but I'm pretty sure you don't do that. So I'm giving this an A uh, because of all of your efforts and because of what you've done with this space. The reason it's not an A plus is obviously it is on the small side. Okay, Freckle is an 11 month old broken New Zealand. She free rooms in my bedroom. This rabbit has their own <laughs> closet. Like they have a wardrobe. That is so cute. I'm, this is so stunning. They have like little sombrero hats. Oh my God, so cute. They have. They have hangers in their closet with the clothes on them. Oh my God. Oh, I love that there's like a little corner in your room with a mini fridge. I imagine that's where you keep veggies. You've got a shelf with treats and other little details. This rabbit also has Polaroids of themselves. And I like how the litter box, it's not, again, you guys, not a super glamorous litter box. It's just a see-through container and it's got a little nook there. So I think that's a great place for it. Yeah, A plus, A plus. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. You guys, Lennon lives like a peasant, like compared to these rabbits, seriously. This is great. This is an A plus. I love the litter box. There's a hole on the top where you've clipped a little hay bag feeder. Brilliant, brilliant. I love the Heidi houses, so beautiful. I love that you kind of created a section that is a home base, I'm guessing, with the CNC grids and you left it open. The plants are out of the way, so that's not hazardous. So this is the pen they sleep in at night, but during the day they are free roamed. All right, because you had me worried there for a second. You guys are really liking these clear X pens. I would say this is a little bit too bleak, in my opinion. There's not a lot going on in this pen. So it's great that they free roam during the day, so brownie points for that. There's no traction on this floor. There's a little blanket. I don't think that this is enough space for two rabbits. Um, I, I like that you've got the food in the water bowls. I don't know how old these rabbits are, but that looks like way too many pellets. If they're babies, that's a different story. If they're adults, you need to cut down. Look, you've got a great litter box. Here's my opinion on this. If they're already free roaming during the day, you could probably very easily graduate to free roaming at night if you just bunny proof properly. I think there's a little bit of a trust issue there, maybe because there's two of them. I would definitely look into bunny proofing. Leave this door open, make this the home base. I don't have a problem with them staying here at night, but it needs to become a little bit more habitable. There needs to be a little bit more stimulation. You need to put a rug in there. I think if you have those things, it should be okay. So I'm gonna give this a B plus. He has been free roaming for eight months now, thanks to you and the research I've done. This is, this is an A plus. I can just tell you right now. I mean, look, you've got, the bunny has everything they need. They've got a Heidi house. I like how you used the NIC grids to protect baseboards and cords. You've got a great litter box, food and water bowls, plenty of toys and stimulation. Um, so this is an A plus. Three month old Holland Lops. We can't free roam them because we have three dogs, but we give them their own room. So this is so excellent. Oh my God, I didn't see the rest of this. This is. Okay, your bunnies are basically free roaming, essentially. And if they have their own room, like that's just incredible. Um, I really love the clear exercise pen. I've actually wanted to try one of those. I mean, in my opinion, it just looks way better than just like a regular metal X pen. Um, but really the mats on the floor, excellent idea. I mean, but the space really, that's what sticks out to me. And I feel like they've got all of the space that they need. So that's great. 
A plus. Okay, again, I feel like this has got to be a troll. Like, I don't know, because every, like, what could I possibly say to something like this, you guys? Like, it's just, that's, that's pretty bad. It's an F. It's just a flat out F. There, I, there's nothing I can do or say to make this better. The rabbit needs a completely different litter box. There's no toys, no stimulation. Okay, I give it to you. The bunny has hay and they've got a water bowl, but I'm sorry, it just, that's not gonna make it better. It's not gonna, I can't sugarcoat this. This is not an appropriate habitat for a rabbit. It's just not. What you can do is if you wanna remove the caging and make the bottom half a litter box, that's a great alternative. That's how you can repurpose this cage if you so wish to. I I can't give this a good grade. I'm really, really sorry. But... Wow, a lot of bunnies. A lot of bunnies, holy moly. So there's four setups here. First of all, bless your heart for being able to house that many bunnies. I think this is a great example of housing multiple bunnies that are not bonded with each other. They do have to remain separated. Now the first photo, everything looks great, except for the cords from your air conditioning and whatever else is dangling there. You really, really need to protect those cords. I don't trust those. Um, now in the second photo, Everything looks perfect. I like that it says the Buns house. Very cute. I'm not even kidding. It's absolutely stunning. So the first photo, I'm gonna give you an A minus. Um, and the second photo, I'm giving you an A plus. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. These bunnies are living the life. You guys are doing such a great job. And again, there were also quite a few in there where you know, limited resources, limited supplies, or maybe barriers with parents and still making it work, still giving their bunnies the lives that they deserve. So you don't need to have a huge house. You don't need to have a lot of money. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button and hit the bell for unlimited bunny content. We'll see you soon. Bye.